Fluorofinder is an online tool that lets you quickly and effectively design multicolor flow cytometry experiments. Our software takes your desired list of markers, runs it against our database of over 250,000 products, and then pairs the results with your specific machine configurations. As you build your panel, Fluorofinder will automatically update these results and block equivalent and overlapping colors. This video will give you a basic understanding of how to build an experiment on Fluorofinder. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and create an account. This will allow you to follow along and practice building a panel without interruption. Once you're logged into Fluorofinder, you can start designing your experiment by clicking this button. Here, you can choose your institution, facility, and the machine for which you want to run your experiment on. If you're unsure which machine would be best suited for your experiment, contact your core manager. Many facilities also have a custom Fluorofinder URL where you can immediately access your machines. If you have yours bookmarked, it will take you to a page that looks something like this. From here, you can navigate directly to the marker page using this button on the right, or if you want to access your machine configurations, you can do that using this link on the left. If you can't seem to find your facility listed, there's a chance we don't have your machines in Fluorofinder yet. Send all of your configurations to support at fluorofinder.com and we'll upload them for you. Once you've selected your machine, the next step is to tell Fluorofinder exactly which markers you want in your panel. After you've input your first marker, the only other thing you're required to select is the target species which you are working with. You can use these other fields to select host, clone, and isotype, but keep in mind that these options will limit the number of products you will see on the next step. This is especially true if you use the antigen density slider. This will limit your results based on their relative brightness. After you've entered your first marker and target species, continue to list all the markers that you are interested in. When you first select your machine, Fluorofinder populates a default set of filter configurations that your core manager provided to us. If you know beforehand that your experiment will require a different filter setup, you can use this button to view the configuration and select from a provided list of swappable filters. Once you have finished entering all of your markers, use this button to continue on to the next step where you will select from a list of products that fit your machine. This step will allow you to select which fluorochromes and products you would like to pair with the markers you entered in a previous step. You can see that all the products are organized by color and are divided into which detector they best fit in. So let's say I want to use FITC for the CD3 marker that I entered in the previous step. When I click here, a window will pop up where you can select from all CD3 FITC markers that we have in our database. I'll go ahead and just select one. You'll see the Fluorofinder has done something nice for us. First, it has blocked out all other products for this channel. If you're new to Flow, you might not be aware that FITC and Alexa Fluor 488 are very similar. This feature prevents you from selecting equivalent colors that will be picked up by the same detector. It also blocks out all the other products for CD3, preventing me from accidentally choosing two products for one marker. Another thing you can do on the products page is add a viability die. This can be done by clicking this button, and you'll see that Fluorofinder pops in another column with all the available fitting viability dies. I'll go ahead and pick this live dead yellow. Now you'll see another feature. Because this die has a broad emission spectrum, it's actually being picked up by multiple detectors on this machine. These channels have also been blocked out, saving you the hassle of excessive compensation when you go to run your experiment. As I've been browsing through different colors, you might have noticed that this window pops up whenever I hover over a color. This graph shows the excitation and emission for the color I'm currently on, and also lists a percentage that corresponds to how well this color is being captured by this detector. This percentage is determined by how well the laser is exciting the fluorochrome, and how much of the emission curve is landing within this rectangle of the filter. You can also associate your markers with fluorescent proteins in this step. To do this, you just click this box, and you'll see all fitting colors added into our existing list. Once you've selected all of your products and are ready to finalize your experiment, it's a good idea to check out the overlap on your spectral viewer. Clicking this button will open up a chart where you can see exactly how much impact your colors are having on each other. If you notice that some of your products are closer than you would like them to be, you can always deselect them here. Once you're ready to finalize, click this button.
The last step is the easiest. Here, you'll decide exactly what you want to do with your experiment. First and foremost, you should save your panel. This allows you to come back and see exactly what products you ordered, and to make edits to your panel in the future without having to start from scratch. You can also print or export a copy of your panel to keep for your own records. If you're new to flow cytometry, this Send for Core Review button is really handy. This will send a copy of this panel to your core manager so they can give it a look before you go and start ordering products or staining cells. You can easily request a quote using this blue button. This will reach out to the vendors that provide your selected products and request discounted pricing that takes into account your specific institution or affiliation. The best way to learn how to use FluoroFinder is to practice building panels. If you get stuck, feel free to reach out using our live chat feature on the bottom right here or contact us at support at fluorofinder.com.